All right, so let's hop right in. Welcome to Clean Proposals, and let's take you through the walkthrough process. We're gonna start in the CRM, actually, a portion of the CRM. So we're gonna assume that you've already entered your contact information for your prospect, a name, address, telephone number, et cetera, and you are about to perform a walkthrough. So how you would do that is just um, create a proposal, by naming and then picking the commercial or residential mod module. So the residential module works the exact same as the commercial module. So for the purposes of this demonstration, we're gonna just use the commercial module. So then you just pick a facility type. I believe we have around 20 in here. We're always adding facility types in here. Let's go with something pretty basic, straightforward. Let's go with office space. Now. For those of you who just do projects such as floor cleaning, you know, stripping and waxing floors, carpet cleaning, window cleaning, but you don't do janitorial services, you would just pick projects only. And then obviously we know what post-construction cleaning services are. So then you just pick the frequency, pick the days of the week, and you add proposal. So this is what it looks like on your mobile device when you are going to start your walkthrough. You're gonna have the name of the company, the location, this is the downtown headquarters, the facility type that you are walking, and the name of the proposal and the status of the proposal. So right now it's incomplete, but that status changes throughout the life cycle of the sales process. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the area portion here. And by the way, all of this automatically syncs with desktop. So once you finish walking through and taking care of the areas and cleaning tasks and any special projects you have, you don't have to import anything into another module or go back into the, to the office to finish the proposal. Everything works on mobile and automatically syncs to the desktop version. All right, so starting up here, you have your area stats, okay? So congratulations, you've got the call, you're walking through and all of a sudden, you need to start gathering information, taking photos and notes, and uh, getting the scope of services together. Well, our software is gonna take care of 99% of that for you. All you have to do is check the areas that apply as you're walking through. So you see a break room, just check that. You can then select the floors. Let's say you've got quite a few areas and uh, you know, most of the building is hard floors or carpet. You can just select either one and it will preload. It'll check all of these for you so you don't have to check every single time as you're walking through. Also, uh, if you see another break room as you're walking through, you can just keep count here or you can make a copy of it and name it something else if you wanted to, like second floor break room or VIP break room or something like that. You can take photos and notes that are automatically organized by area. So you just take your photos and save them and there you have them here and it tells you how many photos that you have you can also just scroll scroll through the photos if you wanted to all right so let's go back out to the area builder for your walkthrough notice now it's got a signal here for you letting you know you've got a note in that particular area and as you just walk through the building you simply check the areas that apply it's that simple okay now let's take a look at an expanded card and the cleaning tasks. And to do that, all we do is click the button here and you've got your cleaning task and you can also record the amount of time you think it will take and enter the square footage. Also, the cleaning tasks are searchable, so you don't have to go through all of them if you, if you want a particular task. But anyways, so it's, it works just the same in the expanded card. If you have a cleaning task that is pertinent to what you're doing, you can view it, you can edit it. And um, one of the things I like here too is that if you change this and you don't wanna have to keep changing this every time, you can save it to your custom task list and add it to any proposal in, in the future. Also, if let's say you change the frequency to three day, two days a week or something, and you don't wanna change it in every area. So if you know in a conference room we have bus dishes as well, or a kitchen, same thing. You can just simply click this button here, change in all areas, and it will change whatever changes you've made in all the areas that have this same task. So if you don't want to use something, select or deselect, 
that simple. And you can reorder these in any order that you want. So we've got hundreds of tasks pre-written for you. It's just going to save you a bunch of time and give you all the details that you need. But one other cool feature that I like about this too, because there are so many areas and tasks, let's just close that. Right. We've, we've got just about every area that you could possibly think of to make it simple for you. So it's easier to view. You can just simply hide unused areas and tasks. So it just cleans up the board. So you have only checked two areas. And so now also when we go back into this task list, you'll notice that that's all cleaned up. So just the ones that you use. And if you deselect it, it'll disappear. Same thing with the flooring tasks down here. All right. Oh, almost forgot. This is, <laughs> this is important here. You can also, um, and you know, check this to include these photos in your uh, proposal. And if you wanted to view them, all you got to do is click on it and then you can scroll through and it pops up in a light box for you. All right, so that's the first part of your walkthrough, okay? You're gonna get your areas and your cleaning tasks. And now we're gonna to go to step number two, which is your special projects. See you in the next video.